Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Linear momentum and the collision. This session is talk about conservation of momentum in the case elastic collision. During the elastic collision, the momentum is conserved and also kinetic energy is conserved because because elastic collision means during the collision, the shape of two objects changed. But after collision, their shape can be recovered to its original shape. That's why we talk about elastic. So the kinetic energy is not lost. That's why kinetic energy is conserved. But also, this is a, the ideal situation, right? So, you can write, for example, this M1, M2, and initially, uh, M1 is moving to the right with initial velocity V1 not. M2 is moving this way. Which generally we put the direction. And when you solve an equation, it depends on the real situation, right? And after collision, M1, M2, after collision, this is a V1 final, and this is a V2 final. The direction I put there, just a generally, okay? So momentum is conserved, means before collision, we can write M1, V1 initial, plus M2, V2 initial, and equals, after collision, M1, V1 final, plus M2, V2 final. This is all vectors. In one dimension, only positive, negative, different. And the kinetic energy is conserved. We can write 1 over 2 m1 v1 initial square, which is kinetic energy of first object, and plus 1 over 2 m2 v2 initial square equals, after collision, 1 over 2 m v1 final square plus 1 over 2 m this is M1, and this is M2, V2, final square. This equation is not vector because after square, because kinetic energy is a scalar. So also we can look at the whatever is positive, negative, after square, always positive. That's why we have Momentum is conserved. This is the first equation. The second equation is kinetic energy is conserved. To looking for the final velocity, if you given the initial velocity for both V1 initial, V2 initial, and M1, M2, 
we're looking for the final velocity of both objects. So we have two equations, we solve two unknown, v1 final, v2 final. But this is a, not a linear system equation. One is linear, the other is square, two degree. That's why for solving this equation is a little bit complicated. For the following example, I just uh, make a little bit simple to assuming the second object at the stationary. So that means <coughs> the first object is a collide with the second object, but the second object initial is at the rest. So V2 zero, V2 initial equals zero. So that's why this one equals zero, and then this one equals zero. So we, we can solve in these two equations, get a, get a general formula, but we not spend time in this session. We just write the result for you. So we got the V1 final, and the V2 final. M1 plus M2 is also M1 plus M2, all related to V1 initial, V1 initial. The final velocity for the first object is numerator is M1 minus M2. For the second object after collision, the velocity is 2m1. So this is a elastic collision. After collision, the velocity of two objects. Next, let me show you an example. A 6.4 kilogram bowling ball and with a speed of 7 meters per second has a head-on elastic collision with a stationary pin, which is 1.5 kilogram. What is the velocity of each object after the collision? So first of all, we say this is a head-on elastic collision and the second object with a stationary that means the velocity equals zero initial so this is the second object v2 naught equals zero and this is the first object v v1 Initial. So this is the M1, this is the M2. Because this is the elastic collision with the, f with the second ball, with second object P is stationary. So velocity equals zero. That's why we can apply these two formula because the total momentum conserved, the total kinetic energy conserved. So we have this formula. So we can write V1, V1 final equals M1 plus M2, M1 minus M2, V1 initial. So we can plug number in. V1 is 7, this is 7 meter per second, M1 is 6.4 plus 
plus 1.5 is kilogram both and the 6.4 minus 1.5 also kilogram so the unit we can see cancel out so we got the meter per second at the final velocity so we can calculate Six point six point four subtract one point five equals four point nine divided bottom is six point four plus one point five close bracket and equals zero point six two and the times the initial velocity of the first object is seven we got 4.34 4.34 keep two sig figure we write it 4.3 meter per second the second ball v2 final equals m1 plus m2 2m1 v1 initial we have 6.4 plus 1.5 kilogram and this is uh, 2 times 6.4 kilogram multiply 7.0 meter per second the answer is is two times six point four. You call twelve point eight divided. The bottom is six point four plus one point five. You call times seven. You call eleven point three. meter per second so from this question we can see after the collision the first ball the boarding ball still keep at the original direction which is 4.3 and the second second uh, object P 11.3 with the direction of the bowling ball. This is presented by wise guys. If you have difficulties with your physics, please call Ron Hamley in Learning Assistance Center at the 632 two two five one. Thank you.